This video has been provided by Johns Hopkins Care at Home and the Johns Hopkins Division of Infectious Diseases. Thank you in advance for watching this video. This video will be presented in 14 sections. 1. Introduction 2. How to get started 3. Hand hygiene 4. Prepare a clean workspace 5. Gather supplies 6. Prepare supplies 7. Adding additives 8. Spiking the bag 9. Load the pump 10. Prime the tubing 11. Scrub the hub 12. Pulse flush 13. Ready to connect 14. Disconnect and unload pump 1. Introduction. Your medical provider has recommended that you receive nutrition or total parental nutrition, also TPN, through your IV or intravenous catheter at home. You will use an electronic pump to infuse the TPN until it is completed. This video will provide you with instructions of how to prepare and start your TPN. Your nurse or pharmacist will provide you with any special instructions. Please watch this video as many times as you need. If you have a caregiver or family member assisting you, please have them watch this as well. 2. How to get started. Now let's get started. Your nurse will go over your provider's orders for your TPN infusion. This will include when and what times to infuse. You should be monitoring the bag during your infusion to be sure the fluid is decreasing inside the bag. If you have a large volume, more than 100 mils of TPN left in the bag at the time it should be completed, please call your infusion provider for direction. 3. Hand hygiene. Practice good hand washing. Washing your hands helps reduce your chance of infection. Use soap and water at first. Make it a habit to wet your hands, then apply soap until lathered, and then scrub your hands for at least 20 seconds. To make sure you are taking 20 seconds, sing the happy birthday song twice. Dry with a clean paper towel. You can use hand sanitizer after you've already washed your hands with soap and water. If you use hand sanitizer provided by your healthcare team, rub a dime-sized amount between your hands using friction for at least 20 seconds until they are dry. Never wave or blow on your hands to speed up drying. Even if you are using gloves, you must still wash your hands. If you are using gloves, put your gloves on after washing your hands. 4. Prepare a clean workspace. Now it is time to prepare a clean workspace. Before each infusion, it is also important to find a clean, dry, hard work surface to set up medication and supplies. You can place the provided sash placemat on top of the work surface. Clean the workspace, including the sash mat, with a gentle cleaning solution, such as a disinfectant spray. Wash your hands like you did before. 5. Gather supplies. The next step will be to gather your supplies. Your home infusion agency will provide you with these supplies. If you are missing any supplies, contact your home infusion agency. You will need two pre-filled normal saline syringes, to flush your IV line before and after your TPN infusion, one pre-filled heparin syringe, if prescribed by your provider, one TPN bag, five to 10 alcohol pads to clean your supplies and hub or IV tip, one electronic pump to infuse your TPN, one carrier pouch to place and carry your pump and bag during your infusion, one infusion pump tubing to spike your bag and administer your TPN, one trash bag, such as a small grocery bag for trash collection, one sharps container for used needles, additional items depending on the additives you will be adding to your TPN bag. Remove your bag of TPN from the refrigerator before starting if you are not using a 24-hour bag. This will allow the TPN to return to room temperature. If you forget to remove the bag prior to starting, it will not cause you any harm, but you may feel chilled during the infusion. Do not attempt to warm up the bag. Double check your TPN, compare the information on the bag to your orders, and make sure it is the same. Does the TPN have your name and date of birth? Is the medication name correct? Is the TPN formula and amount correct? Is the TPN expired? 
If any of this information is incorrect or the TPN is expired, stop. Do not start the infusion. Call your home infusion pharmacist immediately. Six, prepare supplies. Now let's prepare your supplies. Wash your hands. Now prepare your supplies. First, place an alcohol pad in one saline syringe on the sash placemat. Pick up your syringe. Remove the protective cap from the syringe and place the cap flat side down on your sash mat. Hold the syringe with the end up and the plunger at the bottom. Pull back on the plunger slightly to break the seal. You will be able to see the air bubble in the syringe. Slowly push the plunger up to let the air bubble out. Once the air is removed, pick up the cap from the table and put the cap back on the end of the syringe. Do not touch the inside of the cap. Place a syringe back on the sash mat. Now, if your medication bag is in a plastic bag, remove it from the plastic bag. Next, find the injection port on the TPM bag. It is covered with a tin foil. You will use this port to inject any additives into the TPN. Remove the foil and rub the port in with an alcohol pad for at least 15 seconds. Place the unwrapped medication bag above the A of your mat. Put a clean alcohol pad under the port to protect it from recontamination. Locate the tubing and remove it from the wrapping. Remove the white tape and the blue clip from the tubing. Keep the clear plastic wrapping to the side. Place the tubing with your TPN. Place the carrying bag to the side. Place the trash bag close by and the sharps container within your reach. Wash your hands. Seven, adding additives. You will now add the additives to the TPN. Double check your orders first by comparing the ordered medications to the provided labels. Be sure you have the right number of supplies. Remember, do not reuse needles or syringes. Each additive will have a separate one-time use syringe and needle. Your orders will tell you how much additive to draw up with each syringe. Start with the additive with the least amount of liquid. Clean the top of the vial with a separate alcohol pad by swiping the pad across the top of the vial one time. Allow the vial to dry for 15 seconds. Open the packaging of your syringe and remove the syringe. If your syringe does not include a needle, remove the separate needle from its packaging and place on the end of the syringe. If multivitamins are ordered and provided in two vials, you will only need one 10 mil syringe for both files. Remove the cap on the needle. Be careful not to touch the needle itself. Pull back on the plunger of the syringe to the volume you intend to withdraw from the vial. Place the tip of the needle directly over the center of the vial and gently push the needle into the vial. Turn the vial so that the vial is upside down and above the syringe. Slowly push the plunger injecting some of the air into the vial. Pull back on the plunger. You may have to adjust the vial so the tip of the needle is in the fluid. Be sure to remove the total volume based on that order. When you are certain you have the proper amount of drug in the syringe, turn the bottle right side up, then pull the needle from the vial. If you are drawing up the multivial, multivitamin, withdraw an additional 5 ml of air and follow the same steps as you did for the first vial. When you have drawn up all the medication you intend, remove any air left in the syringe by holding the syringe with the needle facing upwards. Push the plunger in slowly until no air is left in the syringe. Locate the clean injection port on your TPM bag. Grasp the injection port without touching the end of the port. Insert your needle into the center of the port carefully, not to push the needle through the sides of the bag. Push the fluid in the syringe into the TPN bag by pushing the plunger in until the syringe is empty. Remove the empty needle and syringe from the TPN bag and put it in the sharps container. Clean the port end again with an alcohol pad. Repeat these steps for each injection of additives. When you are done adding all additives to your TPN bag, rub the bag with your hand or pick up the bag and gently rock the bag back and forth to make sure all the ingredients are mixed. Do not shake the bag. Wash your hands as you did before. Eight, spiking the bag. We will now spike the bag with the tubing. 
First, remove the tubing from the package. Unwind and remove the color clip from the cassette. Remove the plastic protective tab from the TPN bag. Then remove the clear protective cap from the spike on the TPN tubing. Make sure the spike does not touch anything other than the port on the medication bag, such as the counter or your hands. If the spike touches anything besides the port, throw the tubing set away and begin again with new tubing sets. Insert the tubing spike into the port on the medication bag where the tab was removed. Use a push and twist motion, like trying to open a locked door. You will know the bag is spiked when you see the tip of the spike inside the TPN fluid. Nine, load the pump. Next, load the pump with the TPN bag. Place your new TPN bag with the attached tubing next to the pump. First, turn on the pump by pressing the gray button on the right side of the pump. The pump will light up and go through self-checks. It will beep when it is ready. Then pull the silver latch on the right side of the pump down to unlock the cassette latch. Insert the cassette hooks into the hinge pins on the bottom of the pump. These hinges act like a door hinge. Push up on the cassette until it firmly clicks into place. Hold the cassette latch down while pushing up the cassette. It may help to place the pump upright on a firm flat surface and then press down on the latch from the side of the pump until the cassette firmly clicks into place. If this is hard to do and you feel resistance, don't worry. This just means that the cassette is not properly attached. Unlatch and try again. Make sure the top of the cassette lines are even with the bottom of the pump. There should be no gaps between the pump and the cassette. 10. Now prime your tubing. The pump will prompt you to prime. Place the pump on its side with the door latch facing down. You will note the screen says prime tubing. Select yes. The screen will remind you to be sure the tubing is disconnected. Make sure the tubing is disconnected and select prime. Hold the end of the tubing over the trash bag without laying it on the trash bag or allowing the tubing to touch the trash bag or anything else. When fluid starts to run out the end of the tubing, select Stop Priming. If you turn on the pump with a new bag and it asks you to reset the reservoir volume, select Yes. Wash your hands again as you did before. 11. Scrub the hub. Now you will scrub the hub. Hold the end cap between your fingers and scrub the hub, which is the tip of the end cap, for 15 seconds with an alcohol pad. Do not put down the end cap. Discard the alcohol pad. 12. Pulse flush. Now you will pulse flush. Make sure any clamps are unclamped before flushing. Pick up your saline syringe. Remove the cap on the syringe. Do not touch the end cap that you've just cleaned. If you do touch or drop the end cap, scrub the hub again for 15 seconds with a new alcohol pad. Attach the saline syringe to the center of the hub and push and turn clockwise until attached. Now push one to two mils of fluid at a time until the syringe is empty. 13, ready to connect. Now you are ready to connect. Scrub the hub again. Connect the IV tubing to your line. On the pump, push the start button and select yes to start the pump. There should be a green running message so that you know the infusion has begun. Place the pump and the TPM bag into your carrier bag. Wash your hands one final time. You have now completed starting your TPN therapy. If you have any problems with your TPN infusion, call your home infusion provider. 14. Disconnect and unload pump. Now you are ready to disconnect and unload the pump. When your TPN is complete, your pump will beep. 
Select Acknowledge on the pump. Wash your hands. Disconnect the pump from the IV line. Hold the end cap between your fingers and scrub the hub, which is the tip of the end of the cap for 15 seconds with an alcohol pad. Do not push down the end cap. Discard the alcohol pad. Pick up your saline flush. Remove the cap on the syringe. Do not touch the end cap that you've just cleaned. If you do touch or drop the end cap, scrub the hub again for 15 seconds with a new alcohol pad. Attach the saline syringe to the center of the hub and push and turn clockwise until attached. Now, push one to two ml of fluid at a time until the syringe is empty. Disconnect the empty syringe and throw it in the trash. Scrub the hub again. Repeat these steps with heparin if your treatment team has prescribed this. Throw the TPN bag and the tubing into the trash. Make sure any clamps are clamped. Finally, connect the pump to the charger. You have now completed your TPN therapy.